Hey guys, TC made with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you another video. This is partially in the ACF series in the direction I'm heading to try and get you guys to a uh, source built project and being able to test the multiplayer features of ACF on a server, a uh, localized server for your for your builds. But um, this is kind of a necessary piece of that puzzle. So this is about downloading the Unreal Engine source code from uh, Epic. If you go to the Epic documentation for 4.27, which is the current release, uh, you'll see a section in here for downloading Unreal Engine source code. And it tells you in here how to do it. It says before you can access the repository, which is located at GitHub, you have to be an Unreal Engine subscriber, you have to have a GitHub account, and you have to have associated your GitHub account with your Unreal en Epic Engine account as described on the GitHub page. Now, um, so that that's all well and good. If you go into the section for your personal account, and you go down into this connections box you can go into accounts and this is where you can go and you can associate all of your things so basically you create a github account and then you come in here and you tell it how to connect to that account and connect everything once you do that you'll be granted access to epic games unreal engine and you'll have all the source code files available in here if you go to the branch section in here the default would be release. Release is going to be whatever the current version of the Unreal Engine is that's in stable build. Right now that's 4.27, but there's also, you know, like all, all kinds of other versions in here. So if you wanted another version, you'd go down here and you can scroll down through every one of their releases and all the different, uh, you know, potential preliminary projects for even things like UE5 Early Access, UE5 Main. But when you go in here, um, you know, what I would do is I would either just go right to the default release, um, which is going to be the current build, or just go down here and pick your 4.27 branch. And then under the code button, if you're not familiar with uh, with GitHub, you can do a couple things here. You can either open this up with a desktop. You can go into the desktop. You can run a clone command on this using this, uh, this URL, or you can just download the zip file. I typically just download the zip file, so I have a little bit more control over, you know, where things are going to end up. After you download the zip file, um, mine I unpacked into the download directory under Unreal Engine Release. And after you go into the Unreal Engine package that you've uh, that you've downloaded here, what you want to do is run the setup.bat file and then generate project files. And this, these are all going to take a little while to do this. Now, if this doesn't run... Um, you're going to get some errors and everything and what those errors are going to be is that you don't have certain things installed on your uh, Visual Studio so what we talked about in one of the previous videos is you can actually open up the Visual Studio launcher here Visual Studio installer rather and in the Visual Studio installer there's a section in here to modify this when you go to modify you can go into this little thing here that says uh, individual components. Now remember I said in the other video, if you didn't watch that yet, you should. Um, that you need desktop development with C++ and you also need game development with C++ both installed. This covers your Unreal C++ and has some of the uh, SDKs and libraries in there you need. But under individual components, you want to make sure that you have the um, the targeting packs for every targeting pack that you can find in there for .NET Framework targeting packs, you want to have those checked on. <clears throat> and just whatever the most recent SDK is that you have downloaded. Like I have 4.8 uh, SDK, but I have every one of the targeting packs on. The reason that is because the SDKs are backward compatible. Um, so it'll that'll all run. But the targeting packs are... Unreal Engine builds use different versions of those targeting packs, and they're not reverse compatible. So they're only... Uh, incrementally upsized so you want to make sure you have all of them so that if it's looking for a file it can build properly so if you get any errors or warnings about building it it's because of this go to individual components and turn those things on targeting packs and the latest SDK once you've done that and you get done building everything that's in that package what you should find is a folder or not a folder, but a file in here called ue4.sln. If you open that SLN file, it'll take you into the project, and over here under the engine, you'll see a UE4 section. What you want to do is go over to these little drop-downs, and under the configuration, go to um, Development Editor, and you also want to go to Win64 or whatever your platform is, 
And then once you get those two things set properly, you go over here to the UE4 button, you right click on this and just say build. Now this is going to take you a while to do that, but if you have everything configured correctly, it's going to run and run and run. It might take you 45 minutes to an hour even to do this sometimes, maybe even longer depending on the speed of your processor. Um, but it should come back and say build succeeded. Okay. Now if the build succeeded, you can go back to this file folder for your Unreal Engine release and you're going to be able to go into the engine folder, into binaries, and go to whatever your operating system is. I'm in Win64. And as you scroll down through here, you'll see a couple of EXE files. And the one that you're looking for is going to be called UE4Editor.exe. And if you launch this, this is going to open up your editor just like it would if you were in the launcher and launched it. But this is a build version. And this has a lot of other features that are not found in the version that's actually downloaded and installed on the launcher. Um, this gives you the options for actually modifying the code directly in C++. And also when you go to build a server later on, you'll need this particular version of that. <clears throat> so um, if you go to that launcher, it would give you the opportunity to build a game file and all that kind of stuff, just like normal. And you could go in here and build different types of templates out of this, just like you would in the, in the regular editor. The other thing that happened is since you've installed that, if you go back over here to the um, ACF CPP master project we were working with earlier, what you can actually do now is you could go down here and right click and say switch Unreal Engine version. And you'll see that you now have a thing that you could use for the source build to switch this project over to work from the source version. But before we do that, what we want to do is we want to make sure that any of the plugins that our project is dependent on are also included inside of the um, the build version of this because the marketplace version you're installing those to a different engine and if you try and launch things that require those uh, different dependencies or whatever it's not going to work out quite right so one of the ways you can find out what the dependencies for a particular project are is if you right click on this U project file you can go over here and you can say um, open with and you can just open it with something like notepad and it'll tell you right in here what the plugins and modules are. So the plugin in here that this is dependent on is the Ascent Combat Framework. So what we want to do is we want to take our Ascent Combat Framework plugin and make sure that that's in our engine folder. So we want to go to make that happen. We want to go out here to the engine and in the engine there's a plugins directory and this is where we would put our Ascent Combat Framework. I've already moved mine over here but if you didn't know where yours was at um, there's a couple different ways to find it but really what you're looking for is wherever your package is installed that's where your downloads are at for these these different things so let me show you real quick um, if I go into on my machine this is going to be in my D drive let me see if I can get there can get there from here um, so I have a D drive and then I have um, program files yours is going to be wherever your install is so this is kind of unnecessary uh, for you but program files mine's in ue4.27 and then if you go into engine plugins and marketplace this is where all your stuff is at so you would right click on in my case it's you know said combat framework you would copy this then you would open up wherever your source project is at and go into the engine plugins folder there and you can you don't have to put it in the marketplace folder there isn't one in here but you can just dump it out here in the ascent combat framework uh, folder inside of the plugins directory okay after you have that in that directory then what you can do is go on back to this project file that we had over here for the ACF CPP master now you can right click on this say switch unreal engine versions go down there and select that source build you can do this to other projects as well if you want to switch them over and just say OK and it's going to generate new project files which is going to update our ACF CPP master solution file here so we'll let that do that and when it's done we'll open this back up in our Visual Studio editor and then we're going to run a build on this and then open it back up in the Unreal um, environment so that we can actually work with it. So now that that's done we can go over here and say open on our CPP let that load everything in. Just give it a second to do that. And hopefully this is helping you guys. I, I know that some of this stuff is probably better ways to communicate it but I'm just trying to again help as many people as I can and, and simplify these things and there might be other ways to do it but this is just the way I, I learned how to do it. 
Once this is all loaded up in here, what we want to do is go to our drop down. We want to make sure we're under Development Editor and Win64 in my case. And then we would go over here to the ACF CPP Master under the Games directory or the Games folder. Right click on this and we're going to say Build. Now this can take quite a while and I'm going to let my build run through there and then when it's done I'll come back. Okay, after everything gets finished you should see a build succeeded message and if that's good then you should be able to go out here to your directory and just launch your project and we'll let that load up in the editor. So once everything's loaded up, uh, you just go to full sample and open up your ACF full sample map again and uh, you know let your shaders compile and all that kind of stuff and you should be inside of ACF sample inside of the C++ version of this. Now this all still works the same way for you you know as far as being able to do stuff with blueprints and all that kind of uh, thing. It just gives you some extended capability for other things down the road. So it's not going to hurt anything if you work this way. And actually, <clears throat> it's probably the preferred method for a lot of the stuff that you want to do. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here, and I'm going to work on another piece of this. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and learned something along the way. And I'll catch you in the next video.